Hey guys, um, just wanted to check in and I was thinking about how um, many people think that I just am automatically in shape and that I just look like this naturally and I, you know, just, this is just what I already was, you know, had the weight loss and it just was done, like that I haven't been working for it for a year and that it just came super easy and it wasn't a challenge. Um, but what made me keep going, hey Sonia, and what really pushed me was coaching because as a coach I was determined to show others that they could do this and that it didn't matter what injuries they had, it didn't matter what their lifestyle was like, it didn't matter when they worked, it didn't matter what you were doing now, it just mattered that you could fit this in to change your life. And at the same time, I also, uh, you know, um, I'm not, was not a very disciplined person and it really does teach discipline and it teach, teaches organization, it helps you stay on track with things, it helps you prioritize, it helps you plan, like having the expectation of sharing my meal plans almost weekly, like, you know, I, I haven't in a few weeks, but I usually do and, um, you know, I will be getting back to that 100% next week, um, but having that expectation not only helps everyone else out but it helps me out like by having my meals planned by having my shopping list done I can do my coupons and I can really save money um before when we didn't plan you know we spent a ton of money on food um so I really I just wanted to check in and kind of I was just thinking about how you know like tonight with making food for Ricky and Caden even though I'm not eating it they could have totally resorted to something else but we had the food and I could make it I could keep them eating well, even if I'm not eating it. Um, maybe I wasn't as 100% with portions in it, um, but as long as I know that these are clean ingredients, you know, I know my family's eating well. Uh, you know, Ricky lost over 30 pounds within the first like six to eight months just by the food changes alone. It just shows how important nutrition is. So coaching has so many benefits and one of them is just keeping you on track and keeping you motivated. Um, and then we do personal development and listen to it and read it. I'm not huge on reading, but I listen and it's really mind changing. It really helps you um, set away all those negative thoughts and the limiting beliefs of your potential and it really pushes you to believe that you can accomplish what you want to set out what you've set out to accomplish what you tell yourself isn't possible you can make that become possible um, it's just the level of work that you want to put into it right now I um, you know I don't really have the time full time to work coaching I try and do my best so that I can get to where full time coaching is my job uh, that's the goal here and I'm just going to keep working for it. Uh, oh, hey, th hey, Colleen. Thanks, girl. Um, you know, it's not always like it's it's not easy. You got to keep pushing and keep working for it and keep setting new goals and keep creating new visions. But Beachbody really shows you how to become a stronger person, a better person. Um, it's so much more than just coaching and, and doing a workout and eating a meal plan. It's just the discipline to advance yourself. It's the mindset change to believe that you deserve it and to believe that you can. Um, like I, you know, just the fact that I'm going on these trips this summer and it's for me, like it's for me. And that is awesome because, you know, you don't, you don't get to do that a after a while. You don't get to do things for yourself. And this is something you get to do for yourself. And as a result, it benefits so many other people and parts of your life because when you take care of yourself and you feel good then everyone benefits around you and you can share the magic and share the energy and and you know it has a trickle down effect um so i just wanted to yeah check in i hope you guys all have a good night i'm packing to go to denver on thursday and uh yeah that's exciting too all right bye